Ladies and gentlemen, in this video we'll make an Arduino program to help us keep track of the watts consumed by a light bulb when it's on like this. So you can see in my Arduino IDE here, if I press 1, that means I'm turning on my light bulb and wait a little. So I'm trying to make this light bulb consume a little bit of electricity. So now if I click 2 to turn it off, you will see that they're telling me that the usage time was 9 seconds and the consumed watts is 45 watts power consumption. So this is what we are trying to make. So without any further ado, let's jump into the coding. But let's now first see the components that you need to do this setup. The first thing you need, of course, is an Arduino. I am using the Arduino Nano. You can use any type of Arduino. We also have a light bulb and a relay. This is a full chain relay, but as you can see, because I have one light bulb, I'm only gonna need only one of these four. So, the connections now. To connect, you need to take the ground from this relay and put it on the ground. You're also gonna need to take the VCC and put it on the VCC here, and you're gonna take the output of the channel that, that you're using and put it into D2 or whatever pin you like to use on your setup. Now the next thing you need to do is to go ahead and open up your Arduino IDE and start coding. So the first thing we need to do here is to declare the pin for our relay to control the bulb. So I'm going to say int and then I'm going to call it bulb, put it into digital pin 2. The next thing here is because we need to keep track and know when the light bulb is on until it gets off, we need two variables. The first one will be the, the, you know, the starting time and the ending time. So the starting time will be the time meant to be the time where our light bulb is turned on. All right. So I'm going to name it as unsigned long start time start time. So I want this to start to be bang zero. I'm also going to need the end time, which is unsigned long end time, also zero. We're also going to need the elapsed time because we need to take the time, uh, the time that it took bang on and then uh, minus the time where it stopped, all right? So that time is going to be called the elapsed time, all right? So I'm going to say unsigned, oops, unsigned, long elapse, elapse, just like that, or maybe elapsed, I don't know, just like that, put it to zero. I'm also going to need another variable, which is the consumption, all right, the consumed amount. So I'm going to call it consumed, but it's float. So I need to start being zero. We're also going to need something here, which is the watt consumed by this light. This one that I'm using, when you check on this description right here, it says that it consumes 5 watt, all right? So I'm going to say here int bulb watts, just like that. And I'm going to set the value to 5, to be 5. So now the next thing we need to do here is to specify that this light bulb right here is an output or maybe the relay because the relay controls the bulb directly from the Arduino. So to do that I'm using pin mode pin mode just like that and then I'm calling the bulb and set it to be an out output all right. So the next thing we need to do here is we need the serial monitor to display stuffs. We need to, you know, begin the serial monitor. I'm going to begin it by saying serial.begin and then we'll use the normal value which is 9600 and to get started I need my light to be off. So to make it I'm going to turn this off by using the digital right function and then I'll call my bulb and then put it to uh, so I'm gonna call my bulb and then put it to one so I'm using one because I know that it is kind of reversed on my 
on my relay, when I put a zero, it goes off, on, and when I put in a one, it goes, you know, on, off. So if you're using a kind of different, you know, a kind of different relay, you need to check that and use what you use. But here, what I mean, it, according to my relay, I am turning it off, all right? So that's it. Now the next thing I need to do here. So now I need my light to be on when I you when I click one and to be off when I put in zero. Okay. So to do that, I'm gonna first need to see if there's something that is entered into the serial monitor right here. So to do that, I'm gonna check and say. So we need another variable right here, which is the state. To know if we need to turn it on, so I'm gonna call it state and state. And to begin with, it's, or maybe let me even put nothing. So now the next thing we need to do here is to check the serial monitor. So I'm going to say if open and close, go inside and say serial dot available. So here we're checking if there's something entered into the serial monitor. Serial available is greater than zero that means something has been entered now we need to check if no here we'll take this state right here and put it and put the value of whatever is entered into the serial monitor in that specific variable which is state will be now equal to serial now dot read all right just like that now the next thing to do is to judge this state right here so i'm going to judge it using if you can also use a switch statement if you want it now i'm going to go and say state echo to i don't want to do the conversion so i'm going to use this one so now here we know that the user needs to turn on the light so to do that to, to do turn the light on so i'm going to copy this right here right here oops two times so and then put a zero that's how i turn it on okay so now else else now oops I can type else if now um my state is equal to two this time we're gonna need to turn this thing off. So I'm turning it off like right here because it is kind of reversed. Normally I will be using one here and zero here, but my relay is kind of reversed. So, you know, now what we need to do here is to upload this and see if we're, uh, to see whether when I type in one, the light goes on and zero and two, it goes off. If this works, we head to the following thing so I'm gonna do hit upload BAM let's now go to the serial monitor of course crossing our hands to see if it's has no errors when I put in one you can see the light going on which is beautiful when I put in two the light goes off so now let's carry on so now you can see our starting time right here when the light bulb goes on we need automatically our start time to be equal to midis this function like here which means it's taking the time where we at right now when when the light bulb goes on and now according to the ending time which is this end time right here we want it here when the user turns off when the user turns off the light so and it will be also equal to milis but here when the lights goes off we need to do some other stuff we need to know the time taken by the light being on so which we named as elapsed so i'm gonna copy it to avoid mistakes paste it right here and it'll be equal to the ending time end time end time just like that minus the start time beautiful all right now to calculate the watts that this bulb has been consuming as long as it was on uh, i hope we made a variable for that which is consumed right here i'm gonna copy it and bring it down 
and then paste. So to do that, it'd be equal to um, now to calculate this consumed, we're gonna need to take the elapsed. Oops, we're gonna need to take the elapsed valuable time right here. So now because we need this in seconds, so I'm gonna times, I mean divide by a thousand. So I'm dividing by a thousand because this millis function right here returns returns microseconds. So now we need this in seconds. Then I'm gonna tie uh, add times the number of the watt that our light uses. Alright. So remember we have a variable here which is Bob Bob which is what we are no I mean not Bob but Bob watts yeah which is five so using a variable is very good because if you have if you use maybe a light with well, with um 10 watts of co of usage you can put directly here so that's what we're multiplying right there and then close so I think this is it now the next thing to do here is to show it up so I'm gonna say serial the print line print line now I'm gonna say power oops, no, power consumption and then go down here serial dot print so um what I'm going to display right here but to make it look kind of fancy I'm going to Put in maybe a little bit of line, just like that. So I'm copying this, pasting it right here. Now we need to show the consumed here. So because we need to know the what. But maybe let's display. Yeah, okay. So like that, or maybe let me say. Um, okay, like that, paste it right here. The next thing to add now is to add that it's what copy and paste it right here. I'm removing the end line and then say what what's just like that. And the next thing maybe that we, we might need is to know how long has been our light may, uh, got on, so right? So to do that, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna need to display here seconds. Oh, not even seconds. So I'm gonna need to display the elapsed, but to view it in seconds, we need to divide it by a thousand because that's milliseconds. And then here, I'm gonna need to add, oops, Another serial that print, which is this one. That here I'm removing the yeah, just like that, and then put second right here, right? Seconds. So which means we will we'll be displaying the consumed watts along along with the time that the bulb was on. All right. So let's hit upload now and see. If maybe nothing is wrong, everything will be working perfectly, all right? So um, so now it's done uploading. I'm going to hit Serial Monitor. Now I'm pressing 1 to turn on my light. It goes on. Now let's wait. So I'm counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Maybe it, the light was on like almost over... Um, 20 seconds. So if I go ahead and switch it off, you can see that it's telling me that it was on for 17 seconds and it consumed 85 watts. All right. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, this is how you can make, you know, an Arduino little program to keep track of the consumption of your bulb light when it's on. So this might be really helpful most of the time when you want to maybe know what kind of 
you know, no matter how many watts that you use at your home, you know, when your lights are on. Okay, so without any further ado, thank you and thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like, comment, and share to your friends, you know, to support this channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.